possible. But since we're on the topic of TV, let's talk about other <laughs> prestige TV, which is that HBO is making a maniac cop uh, TV show. But there's a little bit of a twist here. Now, when you hear maniac cop, you think, oh, schlocky 80s horror uh, cash grab. But this, this TV show is actually being made by Nicholas Winding Riffin, who is an amazing auteur in, in the sense like he, he did the movie Drive and he recently did uh, Too Old to Die Young on Amazon, which if, if you guys haven't watched it, it is a hypnotic show. It is beautifully done. It's, it's something that I really enjoyed, even though I know that the average viewer would probably hate it because it's not it doesn't hold your hand. But uh, in terms of like the depths of its themes, the cinematography, the characterization, it was just a beautiful uh, a series that I really enjoyed. I want to watch it again. But it was announced this week that uh, Nicholas Winding Refn and John Himes uh, are going to be producing Maniac Cop, an uh, HBO series of which has taken the schlocky 80s uh, movie and turning it into an original show. And it's basically going to be set in Los Angeles, and it's going to show a bunch of different characters from the cop to the common criminal. And if you've seen um, uh, his, his show uh, Too Old to Die Young on Amazon, you'll know that uh, Winding Riffin is, is very kind of obsessed with the, the blurred line between being a cop and being a criminal. And he basically said on Twitter, Maniac Cop will be my version of a cocaine-fueled, neon-soaked, bubblegum-wrapped, mayhem-infused, speed-driven universe of thrill-seekers who are consumed by the ever-present struggle of good versus evil, but evil is winning. And I got to tell you guys, so like I'm, I'm kind of a fan of those 80s shocky like horror movies, but the fact that uh, Renfin is, is doing this and uh, after seeing what he did with his last TV show, I am super excited for this, but I want to know what you guys think. Um, Tom, why don't we start with you? Um, I have very little to add to this because believe it or not, I have not seen the movies maniac cop I, I know it's strange you would think i have i just i've never gotten a chance to um as far as i the rest of it goes i'd be more excited if it was before hbo went woke um then i'd be more excited for something an idea like this it's ripe for like old school hbo so um you know going back to the old hbo i think that giving winding runfin the the reins on this one uh, it is kind of like an old school HBO move where they're basically giving this very uh, talented auteur carte blanche to do what they want. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you think of the guy proper. What's your take on, on this news? Um, I'm actually, I actually have never heard of maniac cop. I just did two, like l did a couple clicks. Uh, it was, it was like a slasher film or something. Yeah. Bruce Campbell. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Guess because I have no expectations on it. Um, if I see it, it turns out to be good. I'll think it's really good. <laughs> and uh, in terms of the creative freedoms uh, that you've mentioned uh, that HBO is giving, um, is or is was that what you were talking about? Like he has like free Heart creative ball. reign and pretty hmm. much. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's whatever he wants. Okay, then that's excellent. Um, I, I that's. So my, I would encourage you. We need oh, more creativity. <laughs> it's funny because some of the critics who, who watched Too Old to Die Young, which he also had carte blanche to do whatever he wanted with, were kind of like, mm, maybe someone should have come in and reined him in a bit. Uh, Drunk 3PO, what do you think of this mm -hmm. news? Were you a fan of any of these schlocky 80s horror movies? Uh, I saw the first two. I think I, I think I didn't see the third one. Did you see the third one? I have not seen the third one. But yeah, I heard do you believe one. that they're turning Maniac Cop into a prestige series on HBO? Uh, yeah, I think it is, if they keep it, I honestly think if they keep it uh, like gritty, like, like the old 80s style, like type of uh vibe, it might turn out to be something kind of interesting. Like, like it is a slasher film and, um, but if they drag it out, not drag it out, but if they, they, they do it well enough where it's in a unique series, I think it'd be something different. You know, like 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 improving on what the actual film was. Listen, it, it's a cult classic type movie, so you got to take it for what it's worth. The kill scenes are pretty eighties. It's kind of funny uh, nowadays, looking at um, the the way we have things now. So I, I I'm definitely gonna check it out. I'm definitely gonna check it out and and see you know what they what they've done with it. Um, I don't know if they'll stay. Are, are they gonna keep it close to what the film is, or it's gonna be a whole new? 
I think it's going to be a whole new thing. Judging by this quote, uh, Wending Renfin's basically going to take the premise and put his own uh, spin on it. If you've seen any of his movies or, or any of his TV shows, uh, he has a very particular style and, and way of making a film uh, that... Uh, yeah, definitely. It's almost hypnotic. It's very high arty type stuff. Yeah, definitely. You could watch those movies now and probably see it as a comedy instead of a slacker film, honestly. Uh, so, it would be great if he somehow got Bruce Campbell <laughs> to, to come in for this one. Isn't, didn't he get real... Isn't he sick? Bruce? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't uh, think maybe so. I'm thinking someone else. Not to throw out people's sickness if he's sick. I'm just saying. But Stephen, the illustrator, uh, what do you think of this? Are you familiar with Winding Renfin at all or Maniac Cop? Um, not with the director. I don't think I'm familiar with him. I remember Maniac Cop from when I was a kid. You know, I was into all that kind of uh, those B movie slashers. You know, the, the late night uh, horror movies and stuff. So um, I, I remember the the movie, but um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't, I'm not familiar with this guy or what he's done. So it seems like it could be interesting, but then at the same time, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, it's, it just seems like there's such, you know, such a lack of creativity where it's like, now we're going back to like <laughs> 80s B movies and remaking these because no one well, can. I do think Winding Rin Rin Fen, uh is, is a guy who is very big on creativity, uh, judging from his previous stuff. Um, and it, it's kind of interesting to me that he, he chose to take this schlocky 80s horror film and elevate it to his level in terms of like, you know, in terms of filmmaking. Now, Ruin, I know that, you know, you being British, you're probably not a familiar with some of these yes <laughs> well I, I do have some thoughts here if you uh if yeah, you don't yeah. mind cassian endor what an <laughs> auto now i'm goddamn <laughs> sick of this bullshit that disney are pulling kathleen kennedy you absolute bitch we're sick of it i'm sorry matthew <laughs> <laughs> to get that out <laughs> i'm oh. very sorry no, I uh, I, being well a Brit, <laughs> <laughs> being a Brit, I uh, no, we we don't get exposure to such things. Actually, uh, interesting one. We we don't get HBO. Is is it like a channel? Is it a network in the US? HBO. Wait, How's wait, wait. What? <laughs> we we don't we don't get HBO is as it? a channel. We, we get they the. They only have three three channels in Britain. <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad we got. <laughs> we, we we get the shows of HBO fed to us via other channels, but we so, don't get uh, HBO is a premium cable network. Okay. It's owned by AT&T and Warner Brothers. And basically since the beginning of cable, you, you would pay a premium subscription price, like an extra 12 bucks a month to get HBO. And they would uh, use that to license out movies and stuff like that, that you could watch from home. And, you know, they do all this uh, original series, like they, they did the Game of Thrones and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, where, do so you guys, not... where do you how, where do you watch Game of Thrones then? No, we, we we get it, but we just get it via another channel. Like I say, we, we, we see the HB, HBO logo, but we get it on uh, it's called uh, Sky Sky One or Sky Atlantic, something like that. Yeah, but uh, has Sky and BBC, that's it. <laughs> yes, that's all we have here. Wait, we... so do you get them for free? Yes, we get well. What? Uh, well, no, I mean, just Matt, no, no. Just, we we get it as a, it's a to, total diversion. Here. Apologies, Matthew. We get it as part of um our our Sky package, so we get a whole host of channels, and that happens to be one of them. So I guess a whole different model. But I mean, circling back, it makes total sense now why they put on such mm. fantastic big budget TV shows because obviously it's a subscription service. I I didn't realize that. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not familiar with it. I I, I have nothing to add. But um, I'll give it a go. Why not? I love my '80s uh, nostalgia. Yeah. Well, have you seen any of uh, of Renfin's other stuff like Drive? Yeah, I've seen Drive actually, and I really enjoyed that. So oh, he's obviously a, a talented yeah, yeah, uh, Drive. Uh, he also did, uh, uh, what was that other one? Uh, the, the fighting one. Let me check it up. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I have seen Drive. Okay. But yeah, that was okay. That was cool. I like Drive. But yeah, with Ryan Gosling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did another movie with Ryan Gosling. Let me uh, let me just look it up here real quick. Yeah, his stuff. It's very neon heavy. Very uh, heavy colors. Very slow. Okay, so he did uh, Neon Demon. Uh, he also did uh, Only God Forgives, which was the other um, 
uh, Gosling movie. And uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's got an interesting filmography. Um, uh, his stuff is very slow. It's very hypnotic. It's kind of experimental. Uh, he, he uses very heavy uh, neon colors and stuff like that. And if you guys, if any of you guys have Amazon prime, uh, mm-hmm. I would highly recommend you check out Too Old to Die Young. It's a Prime original, so it's free with your Prime subscription. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's 10 episodes long, and it is it is ridiculous how crazy that show is because you can watch it one way and be like, this is boring, I hate this, or you could like really dive into it like because I'm a film geek and I studied film and stuff like that. And like, oh, I watch these shows, I'm like, wow, this yeah. guy is operating on a whole different level. That's how Drive was, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it, it's pretty interesting stuff, and the fact that he's tackling a maniac cop, I thought was was a very interesting choice, especially after seeing what he did with uh, Too Old to Die Young. Mm, okay. I feel yeah. like I should have heard of Maniac Cop. I was really into all of the old eighty slasher films, like uh, even like um, oh geez, what what was that called? The The Burning or something? Like I don't know all those. You know, like Happy Birthday to Me. I heard about all these films, never heard of Maniac Cop, yeah. so. Thank you for making me aware of this. I'm going to have to check it out. Well, I, I've been a diehard Bruce Campbell fan my entire life. And because he was involved in the first Maniac Cop, maybe the second, uh, that, that's how I kind of became aware of it when I was younger. So uh, it might just be a product of my age. <laughs> I know about this. Or your taste. Or my taste, indeed. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. And remember, if you want to support the channel, please check us out on the socials. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matthew Kadish. You can also find our discussion group over on Facebook at eggfbgroup.com. That's eggfbgroup.com. Takes you right to our Facebook discussion group. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check out my books over on Amazon.com. You can find them by going to kadishbooks.com. That's K-A-D-I-S-H books.com. And as always, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. For more movie, TV, and entertainment news and analysis, this is Matthew Kadish. I'll catch you guys later.